good, YouTube? We are back. Our parents just got into town, so you guys know what that means. When they're at the breezy house, I feel like we gotta prank them. Gotta prank them. Apparently, they're out there by the pool, just soaking up the sun. What we are gonna do, we're gonna fill both of these trash bins up with water, and we're gonna go outside and prank them. We're gonna go dump a whole bucket of water on them. Let's get to it. Let's go. Alright. We're getting this whole thing filled up. <laughs> this is gonna be so cold. They're literally gonna hate us after this. Mom, I'm sorry. You don't feel bad for them? Not a chance. Look at how full this is getting. These are filling up quick. Yeah, these are getting up there. This is gonna be bad. They're gonna hate us after this. All right, guys, that's as full as it's gonna get. We're gonna go dump this whole bucket of water on them. Let's go. We're gonna go down this way. is when you come to the breezy house we're gonna have to shotgun energy drink all right i'll make a deal with you if you beat me when we shotgun i'll fill the entire pool up with balls okay does that sound like a deal yeah. all right guys we're gonna see if he can actually beat me how old are you nine well, if he can beat me that's gonna be embarrassing christian you think he can beat me no we'll see here we go three two one let's go You guys know what that means. I guess I have to fill the entire pool up with balls. Snap of a finger. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Let's start the montage. It's the breezy house. to it. First question. We're going to start with the first question. It's going to be a pretty simple question. What is your height? Christian, we're going to start with you. 6'1", baby. Jacob? 6'6". I'm 6'1", as well. Bryce, what the hell tell My height is anatomous. The internet doesn't know. What does the internet ah! think you are? The internet thinks I'm 5'8", but they Don't have no idea. Yeah. Nobody actually really knows my height. That's yeah, my question is, what are we doing in a hot tub full of colorful balls? Uh, we're Who's vibing. Are you one, one year old? would come up with that? Yeah, whose idea was that? Yeah, what the me. Are you kidding? You guys have been asking this question a ton lately, and we're just gonna start off with it because, I don't know, it's pretty deep. So, at what age did you lose your V-card? Christian, we're starting with you, buddy. I've actually uh, never seen a boob I've before. I've never, never. never looked at the female. All right, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, we're moving on to the next question. How many girlfriends have you had? This is really gonna... 
decide if you were a horn dog, I guess, in high school. How many girlfriends How did many you have? How many girlfriends did I have in high school? Or, or like, just in general, like... Oh, uh, four. Four? Yeah. Wow. You're a player. What about you? How many right, girlfriends did you have? What are we doing? I've had three, but I've had four serious relationships. <laughs> Totally. Four serious relationships? Yeah. I've had one serious relationship. I'm very picky with like how I choose my girls. You know that. I just I can't get I can't get sucked into that. Yeah, I've been in two very serious relationships. Okay. One extremely serious relationship. Yeah. Uh, shout out for watching this. I'm plugging her Instagram in the top of the description. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Moving on to the next question. Christian, we're gonna start with you. When was the last time you jerked off? Bro, what's good? Unbelievable. Next question, next question, bro. next question. We're moving on. Um, all right, what was your first impression of the guys here in the hot tub when you first saw them? Oh, in shit. person, in person. Uh, first impression of Slendy was that he's tall as hell. Bryce, I was like, oh shit. Like, he's a mini unit. And then, mini you, unit. You just suck. Mini unit. Okay, yeah, good, mini good, units. good answer, good answer. Uh, when I first saw Christian, I was like, dude, I want to beat this kid to He's such a little squad, bro. Like, I just want to literally knock him unconscious the second I saw him. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually thought they were pretty cool. Um, I just thought they had, like, a douchebag vibe, but, like, I, I didn't know them. A lot of people do think that. Yes, but, like, they don't. And then I met them and it was chill. Yeah. And Bryce, I thought he was kind of tall. Um, I thought he was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought he was yeah, a little bit level, full bro. of himself. But I get that a lot. After talking with him for like five minutes, I could tell he wasn't. So yeah. my first impression, I've known Christian for my whole life, so he's just been a dip his whole life. Um yeah. Slendy or yeah. Jacob, I honestly my first impression of him when I first saw him, I was like, holy sh this dude is really tall. I feel like that's how a lot of people yeah. think. That's like a, lo a lot of people think that because I've never heard that before actually. Me neither. And then Bryce, I just like I saw him on social media and I figured like he would fit my vibe just because like he looked like he had an athletic background and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I knew Ace was gonna be I knew me, me and Ace were gonna be cool. I knew Ace was the boy from the start. Um, the first time I faced him, he was a hot tub, he was just vibing, so I knew he was vibes. I love me the hot tub um, sessions. Yeah, gotta love the hot tub sessions. Jacob, I <laughs> Jacob was like, I don't know, Jacob was cool like all the way through. I met Jacob, he was always cool, he was always tall. That's literally the first he was thing you notice tall. when you meet him is like how tall he is. And then I thought Christian was weird as hell at first. Um, just just because I saw him like doing dances and he wasn't really like the greatest dancer at the time. Unfortunately. Who just hit me in the head? But he ended up being cool when I met him in person. So. Alright, moving on to the next question. A lot of you guys requested this question. I got this multiple times. What do you find attractive in a girl? The first thing I see in a girl is their hair. Uh, but honestly, like, I mean, obviously it comes down to personality. You have to be that guy and say it. But You um, would be that guy. But obviously, if they're just hot, you know? If they're hot, they're cool, they kick it. Yeah. And their hair is blonde. <laughs> cool. That's, hey, there you go. All the blondies. You know, it's okay. a good solid answer. Yeah, yeah. What do you find attractive uh, in a girl? For me, it's like the smile. Is like the first thing I notice, and then personality. Like, I like told myself like if they don't have a good personality, like it's a waste of time. So, yeah, because yeah. like there's no point. Because like everybody's looks deteriorate at some point. Like, if you're not cool, like yeah, yeah you can't facts. kick it. You're 100 right. I uh, I honestly look for someone who's like as driven as me. I just like yeah. like people who work hard. Um, but yeah, if your booty fat, you know where I'm at. <laughs> Are you kidding? Hey, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, if you have nice teeth and a nice jawline, that's really all I can ask for, you know what I'm saying? Personality ups as well, you know what I'm saying? But Unreal. if you got the jawline, you got the teeth, you'll see me there. There you go, there you go. You won't see. Alright, moving on to the next question. You guys gotta give pretty good answers for this one, I feel like. Uh, what makes you the happiest? Probably seeing other people happy or making other people happy in any way possible. Okay. Uh, for me, it's the same exact answer as Christian. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I just like making people smile, you know, like, just like bringing people happiness. Make me like, smile. No. They're not um, for me, it's, yeah, it's just progress. Whether it's like in the gym, um, building a connection with the people around me, just like, I don't know, just progress in some sort of way. I just feel like that's what makes me happy. It's a great answer. So, it's a great right. answer. Um, I think, me and Jacob talked about it last night, um, what makes me happy? Interacting with you guys. Yeah. Like, Facts. interacting with you guys, like y'all, like we, we get to make content for you guys, y'all get to get a smile out of it. 
and y'all get to comment to us and we get to see y'all's comments and you know we it's, it's a it's a win-win situation on both sides and that's really what makes us happy at the end of the day interacting with you guys we love you guys all that nice. perfect all right so speaking of that talking about you guys you guys did ask me am i going to come out with merch i did have merch in the past i do not have merch right now just because it's been on hold with covid going on but i am coming out with more merch soon and you guys just got to be ready because it's going to be fire we're going to come out with it soon let's um, go whoa all right next am question I? it is what is your body count christian we're going to start with you and you're the only person we're going to put in here so make sure you say it loud and clear <laughs> You got me absolutely f***ed up. Not a chance. No, I'm at, like, seriously. Hey, like, we're going 72 is not a bad number, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know how many bodies I have. Does ass and tit size really matter? Yes. 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 Uh, for me, yeah, if you don't have a fat ass, fat ass titties, I'm not f***ing with you. No, I'm just kidding. So you, you do, you, you are I in I think it matters. Ass. Honestly, it does. genuinely, I Whoa. think it matters. Uh, like it doesn't make or break it by any chance, but it matters in the in the end decision. Am I right? Yeah, I, I right? agree. It doesn't make or break it, but it, it definitely it does play plays a big role. It does play a role. It plays a role. And if yeah. it plays a role, then it is important. Yeah. I think if she has a pretty face, it doesn't matter. That's my. Well, yeah. If she's like drop dead beautiful, where if I yeah. just looked at her face all day, yeah. I could be fine. But that's when it comes into play. It doesn't make or break it. So that like, doesn't make or break it. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So you, everyone doesn't understand. Moving on, do you miss baseball? I do not miss baseball as much. Just I miss the guys that I had the connection with back in the day, but I'm very happy right now. Life life goes on. I build a connection with these guys. These, these guys are like my brothers now, so. When was your first kiss, and if there was a crazy story, how was it done? Oh, I like, had to get stop in the middle of the slide, and like we planned it out before recess and everything. We were like, all right, we'll leave. You're like, all right, once we go, you gotta stop. I'll meet you there. When was your first kiss? Were you young? School? Preschool. Oh, shit, you were young. Yeah, I just like player back in preschool. Was, I don't, I don't remember mine at all. So, yeah, my my first kiss was actually on a dirt hill. I was, yep. I was up there. It was just me and another girl. There. We uh, we kind of like ran away in our neighborhood, and we went on to a dirt hill. And that's the most Missouri answer you'll ever get. Right there. All right, this is a pretty interesting question I hope our parents aren't watching what is one thing you have never told your parents I know one thing for me is uh, me and Christian you <laughs> <laughs> were watching this the one night when you like saw my life 360 wasn't at my friend's house We've done that. Too. I was at my girlfriend's house. Oh yeah, that's we something know. I can that's tell. That's literally. I, I definitely like turned my life through. Everybody, life 360. Everybody watched. That shit. Yeah. Well, Trying to awesome. avoid life 360 is like the hardest thing to ever do. Dude. What about you? Uh, I mean, it's just a bunch of life 360 stories. Yeah, life 360. Literally, fuck you, life 360. Fucking dick. Whoever made All it, right. lick it. Uh, are you single? Yes. Yes. Single and ready to mingle. All single day. and ready to mingle. Are you single, Jake? Yeah. Jacob's single. Single. I am single as well, so every girl watching this, make sure you submit your application down below. I'm really, I'm really needing a girl. All right, this is gonna be the last question. Everybody wants to know this question. Who is your guys' celebrity crush? Megan Fox and Jennifer Lawrence. So it's all day. Jacob, what about you? If I had to say one, it'd be Megan Fox. Megan Fox. It. You can't go wrong with that, I feel but like. But like, I don't, I don't like have one though, so like, that was when I was a kid. Yeah. Emma Watson. You're, if you're watching That's this, just I really the answer. <laughs> like I just want to marry you. I'm you're gonna take this time to go shot Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Watson. Kidding me? He's confessing his love. Most Everybody get around, and I have ever seen my life. Like Harry Potter series all the way through. My celebrity crush is Ariana Grande. If you're watching this, make sure you go submit your application. She's because. valid. You are very, very attractive. She is very attractive. You are very attractive. So. Yeah. I will definitely be accepting that application. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the Q&A. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Turn on your Wait, post notifications. I got one question. When are videos dropping? Every Friday. Every Friday. Make sure you guys stay tuned because next Friday is going to be a banger as well. We're going to sign out. Peace. Woo. Ace, bro, what are you doing, bro? Yo! What the heck, bro? For real, though! <laughs> Use a 
bathroom, bro!